indeed today happens to be the birthday of our dance hall king right here in Ghana, and here I'm talking about Charles Niyama Mensah Shata Wale. And looks like the whole world is celebrating him from all angles. Uh, postings from influential people on social media, postings from fans on social media, radio and TV stations, giving shouts all over. In fact, one of the biggest ones I've seen so far is from Vibes Cartel. <laughs> and this is just to confirm that indeed the connection between Shatawale and Vibes Cartel is dope. Wishing him a birthday on a special day. But first, let me also go to my people here at Sami Flex TV. Everybody is a friend to Shatawale. No matter how you like it, you will surely be a friend to Shatawale. So let me ask my people <laughs> um, their birthday shouts and wishes to Shatawale before we even start talking. Chabu, uh, yes, you might not have seen him in a long time. Yeah, yeah, yes, yeah. for Roland, I'm sure he sees him from time to time. Yeah. Um, so I will start with you. Your birthday wish and shouts to Shata before we start working today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll make it simple. I mean, mm -hmm. happy birthday to him. Mm -hmm. I think he has done enough in this industry. True. So he deserves the, the celebration going on. True. So I wish him all the best and mm. all the wishes that he he wants to have in life I, I i i hope he will get them and a big shout out to Pam, pam, pam. The SM boss. <laughs> <laughs> Happy birthday. I know, right? Yes, Ru. What are you also <laughs> telling the SM boss? Yeah. Happy birthday to the king mm. himself. One Donny, as the whole team would call him. God mm. richly bless him. Last time, I came to the KSM. He said, our friend of Ben 9, 10, now at that. He's done enough to end that time to sleep. <laughs> so if, right. if you wake up and you see people posting shutter left, right, center, mm. it is because of how great he is and how great his work in, in the industry, which is why people are celebrating him. But me, I have one request for him today. Which is? Which is? Which is today. Mm -hmm. He should mention his age. Ah, but he's told you already. <laughs> no, no. He keeps telling he's 23. I say today he, he should mention his age. Else he keeps we, telling you guys he's 23. So what are you talking else about? I will lick it. <laughs> <laughs> I saw one guy who did a shout from his program on radio. He said, mm. Yeah, happy birthday, Shatawale, on your 40th birthday. Hey, hey. One the mouths are age now. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think they are going with the Wikipedia. <laughs> I don't remember Wikipedia. Yes, uh, <laughs> no, but today he will mention his age. Uh, uh, today he will mention. All right. So, what well, happen is that we are sure going to meet our king today uh, for the birthday sitting and um, hey, what word should I be used? Because uh, sitting. Sitting, sitting. sitting. God <laughs> birthday sitting and setting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. The sitting and the settings. I'm sure that's how I have to put it. And that is how it's going to be. Very solemn, very calm, but still very dope. And mm. you'll be sharing with you guys whatever we will be doing the in subsequent videos here on Sami Flex TV. So you don't have to miss out. But we still have to do our show. Let me also wish him a special birthday. He has been a great influence to the world at large. And personally, my few years of coming very close to him has even been of immense influence to me. And therefore, I appreciate him. The many fans who follow him, I'm sure they follow him for a purpose. And the purpose, we pray that it stays. And everybody should also benefit from who he has become. Happy birthday to you, Shata Wali, and the settings and the settings there. We are coming right after here. Hi. Let me also say thanks to our production team, Buju Lens, as well as Theophilus D. Gosh, putting this together. But after that, there are some topics that we need to discuss before we can run away from here. Let me start with the campaign, Baumia. Okay, wait, I'll handle that later. Um, let me start with Keche. The Baumia campaign, they were there at the Alisa Hotel. We were there. Yeah, we were there. Mm -hmm. uh, right. We were all there. Okay. In fact, Koko Sam met me and he put camera on me. He said, Ah, Brassam, is it possible? I'm CBB, I'm very fine. 
<laughs> the advice I mean, is it possible that it be mm. beer? Yeah, very fine. fine. Uh -huh. Don't come and tell you no, no, no. of it is possible. It is possible. Now, Ketcher Joshua is one very vocal partner in the Ketcher group, and anytime he speaks, definitely you know it comes with some load. Now, there is something that he said where I would want to get opinions from my people on exactly what he means and how they also understand it. Remember the issues with um, King Paluta some months ago? Well, that aside, Ketcher Joshua is saying something. He's saying that if you're an artist and you have a hit song at the moment, it does not make you big. Hmm. Listen to it well, because it sounds a little controversial. Because what will make you big? What will make you big is that your song that is banging, that everybody is jamming to. And here we are talking about musicians, so pay attention to only musicians. But he's saying that the fact that you have a big song at the moment banging does not make you big. What again is he looking for that to make an artist look big or feel big? Well, this is where the conversation starts. But I would want you to watch a snippet of that interview where Katie Joshua was in the seat and mentioned this. And again, I asked my people how they understand what Katie Joshua seems to be talking about. Watch it. I'll be right back. If we feature the new artists, they need us more than we need them. So who feature? If Sako, who if, feature Kim Paluta? If Sako they feature Kwame Eugene, mm -hmm. Kwame Eugene needed Sako they more than um, Kwame Eugene needed Sako they more than Sako needed him. Do you know why? Because Sako they have been here cemented for a very long time. Use you, me. So who feature Kim Paluta? Uh -huh. Kim Paluta need Keche more than we need him. Ah, you don't believe it. How old is Keche? Sir, it's not about it's not about Obia. Don't don't about. don't uh -huh. ever mm -hmm. disrespect mm -hmm. Obra for when it comes to Keche. Don't try. Obra, I need that Lumba more than he needs me. Those at the top, those who have been in this industry for a long time, if you're a new artist and they call you for feature, run and go and do it. There is something around them that you need. There is something that I don't want to mention that is that is so sad. A big artist, like a new new couple of artists, be five years. Obi says I say, boss, I don't know how you did it for 16 years, 17 years, you are still relevant. How did you do it? Anyways, you're welcome. After watching this, I'm sure we can continue talking. Ro, this one you can open his eye for me. Mm. Um how do you understand what Ketchup Joshua is saying? Because I think that to be big. It's about what you are banging, what people are banging to. The more we are jamming to your song, oh, Charlie, the guy feel about top. Yeah. Now, Ketcher Joshua is saying the fact that everybody does not mean you are big. How? Um, well, to some extent, he is right. To some extent, he is, he is right, you see. Break the extent, being, the different extents, let me see. Being big is subjective. Mm -hmm. And in this context, we would want to use the general big, a big... A big one that if if we are to bring about or do a survey of maybe 10 people, mm -hmm. you can have about eight or nine agreeing to how big or the description of how big we want it to be. Okay. And, and in that sense, I would say to some extent he's right. You know, there are certain artists that may have a big song now or a trending song. Mm -hmm. In fact, even in our current dispensation, we call it a trending song mm. or a viral song. Mm. That's... You, that necessarily doesn't mean that you are a big artist. Mm. Being a big artist comes with some level of experience, some level of input, some level of contribution, like okay. views that you've paid in the industry. That will determine how big you are together with the number of big songs that you even have. Okay. And here, we will not also miss, or we will not also reduce the, uh, remove the current states also as well okay. there are certain artists or in terms of relevance i mean current mm -hmm. relevance mm -hmm. there are certain artists that have big songs or have had big songs like have enjoyed contributed so much to the industry mm -hmm. but are not so relevant today it doesn't mean they are not big artists they okay. are but in certain conversations you may want to excuse them not because they are not big artists mm -hmm. but perhaps the conversation is about who has a big song now currently mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. that is that is what we'll be talking about. So to him, to what Ketchenjo is saying, to some extent, he is right. 
that yes for you to have a big song currently mm -hmm. doesn't mean you are a big artist but it will take some time for you to achieve that big status that we can have majority of the people agreeing to the fact that you are big mm -hmm. there are certain artists no matter how big their song is today mm -hmm. if you should hit the street and ask is this particular artist big you have and a good number of people say no. Yes, I'm shocking as is. Exactly. It's, it is there. But there are certain artists also that you go, even if they don't have a big song currently, if, and you hit the streets and you ask, is this person a big artist? You mm -hmm. have a good number of people saying, yes, he's a big artist. Mm. But the context in which he was using that particular statement is what I disagree. Okay. In terms of who needs who and at what point. Mm -hmm. To him... There are certain artists who are big, like the explanation I gave earlier on, that even though they may not have a trending song today, the moment you, uh, a relatively uh, lower artist, wants to feature him or wants to collaborate with him, it is you who needs them more than they need you. That I disagree. Mm. Because it is not always like that. Okay. It is not always like that. Somebody may probably might have done much in the industry, but it's now getting a big song. Mm -hmm. It doesn't mean, if you want to tell me that they would need the much bigger artists more than the much bigger artists would need them, then it means with experience, with the level of work input. And some of these things are things that I would agree, yes, they will need. But if you want to use somebody like Kim Paluta, who has done so much in the industry, and is now getting a big song, if you would want to tell me that he, in this contest, may need you, and here, it is not want to, need. need. That is too strong of a word to use. Hmm. That is too strong of a word to use. Nobody is downplaying the efforts that Keche has done in the space. No. But then, in, in this particular contest, we will, we will strike the, uh, like the, the conversation. Balance. Yes, okay. the balance. Who needs who more? Who stands to benefit more? And here... I tell you, if it is about current collaboration between Kim Paluta and Keche, I wouldn't even uh, sit somewhere and say, oh, uh, Paluta would benefit more than Keche or Keche would benefit. I think the feeling, the benefits will be mutual. Mm. It will be 50-50 mm. for me if you ask me. Okay. I, I would not say, okay, Keche will benefit more than Paluta or Paluta will benefit. But in certain instances, like uh, Shatawale and Kwame Nat, yeah. definitely you, it is very obvious who needs who? Don't you think the Shatawale Kwaminat gap is too Eh, hey, I wide? know. That's that's what I also okay. want to use for, for Keche's okay, statement. Okay, so not closer to what Keche is saying. Exactly. You are just opening up something Exactly. Okay. So there, there are instances where these benefits are clear for everybody to see that, oh, Sir Union Radio, this person stands to benefit more than the other. Mm. Even if uh, Kwaminat has a banging song right now, just like Amado. Amado had a banging song. But when he decided to collaborate with Shatawale, mm -hmm. he, you still would realize that, yes, Amrado is definitely benefiting more than even what Shatawale is benefiting. Mm -hmm. Even though he had a big song. But then, you will still realize that Amrado was still benefiting more than Shatawale. So in that sense, it is not always right. There are some artists who are not that relevant currently. Mm -hmm. And in that instance, it is some of these big artists, quote and unquote, who would need the relevance of these young artists to boost also, yes, to boost them up. There are artists like OD4 and other artists who are not so hot and relevant currently. Mm -hmm. And if they would want to feature somebody like Kwame Eugene, Kwame Eugene would not need them. Mm -hmm. Kepaluta would not need him. Okay. Because in terms of experience, music knowledge and everything, in our current state, they have it. They have it. So in terms of need, maybe they would want them for a collaboration. They would want them for a certain conversation. But as to whether they need, needing means that without them, you cannot function. Yeah. That yeah. is what needs me. You need it to save yes. your life. Yes, and, and that is too strong. They mm. may want them for a collaboration. Yeah, want their minya, I find minya, I can survive. But need is too strong for a word. Mm. Kwame Yuji mm. may not need certain artists currently. Okay. That is that is it. Kimpaluta may not need. So in, in Keche's even statement, yes, he's saying Kimpaluta needs them mm -hmm. more than they need Kimpaluta. Mm -hmm. Well, in their own right, they have every right to say that. But the benefit 
is clear for everybody to see in terms of even numbers and how you are going, like who is benefiting now. In, in that sense, me, I, I don't agree with him that Paluta needs them more than they need him. It is 50-50 it is for me. Well, this is an open debate, something that you can also share an opinion with ease. At a point, one artist song will be ruling the airwaves. And I can tell you, when we look back, like the last two months or less, King Paluta has been ruling back-to-back mm. -back hit songs alongside some great names that are still in there. But Kete Joshua thinks that, Charlie, yes, we are playing your song, uh, Kim Paluta, eh, everywhere. Mm. But that time does not make you any big artist. Kete might not even release in a long while, but as much as they are still here, and they are still playing, where they are going to go in, go in, go in, go in, go in. still, they are bigger than you. That is what he's trying to say. That your song is banging up, but you are not big. Me, it sounds some way to me, but Roland has given us some explanations from his perspective. What is Chemo also saying? Well, I, I will generalize it and then go specific. Mm -hmm. If you generalize it, Keche mm -hmm. uh, has a point. Okay. Because to consider somebody as an A-list artist or a bigger artist, mm -hmm. there are certain factors that you have to meet. Okay. And some of them will include uh, your longevity, how long you have stayed in the industry or how mm -hmm. long you can stay in will be part of it. Mm. Again, the, 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 the viral songs or the trending song that you have mm -hmm. is also one of it. And again, the price that people are willing to pay for your services okay. is also another thing that you have to consider. So now if I ask somebody between uh, Keche and Kimpaluta, mm -hmm. which of the artists are you going to pay bigger mm -hmm. for, for you to have their services? I think people who are watching us, they know the answer. <laughs> Currently, they know the person that they will pay bigger for, for, for them to have a, in any event that you want to have. Mm -hmm. So for me, Keche, the, the, the part that he is right is that it is not only song. Because what he said, that's, that's the input that I get. You cannot just get a viral song or a hit song and think that you are big. Mm -hmm. That one, I agree. It's a general thing that I think nobody would disagree. Okay. But in the context that he is using it, I disagree with him. Mm. Kempalusa, mm. as we speak now, is a bigger artist in the industry. Mm. Mm. As we speak mm. now, he is. Take it or leave it. Take it or leave it. He's big. He's been moving around here, like traveling. Like some time ago, Keche, they were traveling all over the place. The same thing is happening to is happening to Kimpaluta now. Mm. So you can't just mm. say that uh, if you have a big job, does it mean that you are big? No, in this context, uh, Kimpaluta is a big artist. It's big. Yes. Because he's raining now, and, and I've said it before, is a winner takes all. We will play Kimpaluta here before any other song. <laughs> so he's big. You can't just downplay that. Mm. Just that, just having a viral song will, mm. will not make you a bigger artist. There are other factors that should come in place. And mm. Kimpaluta will qualify for even the other factors. That's the point. The other factors, Kimpaluta will qualify. Kimpaluta, he has been in the industry for a longer time. It's not just two years. Same been here. Yes. Aww. This is the time that he's getting his breakthrough. So mm. After getting your breakthrough, they will go back for even the old things that you have done. So Kimpaluta uh, will be considered this time around as one of the A-list artists. Mm. He may not end as some of the A-list artists now, but he's climbing. Yes. And at that point, you don't consider such a person that oh, undruye. Undruye, mm, 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 mm. There are other factors that are unqualified, and one of them will be the after be, having the impact. How long are you in so the famous. games? Enu ne be biti no no. Enu na keche yes. Enu na keche keche be winning with his argument. He say oh buy enche. And yes, oh buy enche. You buy to be influential on enche. There's a difference. 
Kimpaluta chewu. But we nani break through at the last two years. Mm -hmm. Now we are seeing him. Now we are counting him among the big artists in Ghana now. Yeah. So you are it's like you are new big artists. So wait. We <laughs> we have been there. Big uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> new big artists. <laughs> like at any point in time, we get new people mm -hmm. climbing to the A list. Mm. And and now Kempaluta will be the newest. Uh, uh, a list artist that you can so, so you think Kimbaluta has got into the A list category now? Yes, but the, what is beating him now will be the uh, staying there for long so that you increase your value. Mm. Now, mm. They, the, the amount that they will pay uh, somebody like Sarkodie, uh, Kwame Eugene, Black Sherry, Black Sherry Shatawale, and others, Kimbaluta will not get that money. Why? Because he hasn't been in it for a long time. In terms okay. of his influence mm, and involvement, and the involvement activities. with some of the uh, uh, events and other stuff, it comes with experience. It comes with age and other stuff. Mm. Even his negotiating power is not mm -hmm. as strong as those people. Yeah, they have stayed in there for a very long time, so they know how to negotiate and get uh, the better deals. Better deals. Mm. And Kempaluta is now learning. So mm -hmm. with time, he will mm -hmm. also get there. Mm -hmm. So there are certain things that, yes, you can point out that until that, then, then he will lack certain things. Just that to say that he's not a big artist, I would disagree with anybody who will go that direction. Okay. Because his song is banging now. And mm -hmm. again, we know that there are some people, their song will be banging and you can't even find them. <laughs> the song is bigger than the artist. Mm -hmm. By this that's case, true. that's not what is happening. That's why it, it so you you can win an argument by saying that yeah there are some artists that their songs are bigger than them. Mm. So for them they, you can't say that they are big artists because it's the song that is going not the personality. True. But in this case he is going with the songs. The songs. Mm. 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 He is going with the songs and 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 he has done something so great. <laughs> so you can't miss yeah. him. I remember in an interview, I think you did that interview with uh, our, our man, um, this guy who is in UK now, um, uh, Dan Swabiam. Oh, okay. I remember Dan Swabiam saying that he, he went for an event and then he he started, no, they they asked him the kind of song that he's about to play. And then he... As a, he so he went there as a performer. As a performer. Mm. And then uh, 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 his hit song, the mm. Bupa song. Mm. They said, that, no, 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 it's not for you. It's for Sarkodie. You, you can't allow him. <laughs> <laughs> you can't take a sign of Sarkodie. Oh, no, no. Yes. Mm. So at that point, he saw that the, the song is bigger than him. Mm. The song is so big that people don't even believe that it is it a is song. A song. And that thing is there. But not in this case. Kempaluta is far, far gone. Or at this point, he is part of the A-list artists, if you want to consider okay. them. And with his argument about uh, Kempaluta needing them more than mm -hmm. he needs them, mm -hmm. I think he, should, he, should, he shouldn't say that thing again. He shouldn't say that again. Yes, not it is, at all. It is I mean, a statement of pride. Yes, uh, he, he shouldn't. He shouldn't say that thing again. And the reason is simple. If, if you think that Somebody needs you more than you need them. You don't go out crying why they are not doing mm, what they are supposed mm, to do. Mm. Because it makes you look mm, lost. Well, yes, it, it <laughs> makes you look like you are the desperate one. Mm, mm. You want to help somebody. Mm -hmm. The person is saying that I don't need your help. Why are you forcing it? Yeah. If that's the case, if they need you, if he needs you more than you need him, forget about him. Don't even mention it. He want to help you. But by force, my member was out there. It, 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 it doesn't work. So for me, he, he shouldn't make that argument. Mm. If he he thinks that there's a service that Kempaluta is supposed to uh, uh, give it to them, he should do the right thing or he should do the need for. There are better ways to deal with uh, people than the way that he's going about it. Okay. I mean, at this point, you have done a song. You want the guy to uh, promote Bless it for you. you. Mm. And now you are going around saying bad things about it and saying that he needs you more than you need them. Then don't even mention him. Because if you do that, it's like 
he want to help him by force, yeah. whether he wants it or yeah. not. And he doesn't. You are pushing like the help yeah, yeah, yeah. under so his head. I think I think it's it's a wrong argument for him to make. He should rather deal with him in a way that he will get what he wants or he deserves it. instead of going this uh, uh, way. I don't I don't think it will help him. Well, that was another one gone down. Let's move on to the next business. And as usual, I've told that when we sit like this, it is about uh, sharing ideas, sharing information, and making sure you're also part of it. Now, Deputy Artist of the Year, a.k.a. Portfolio, he is still in his winning ways. He's still winning here and there, here and there, here and there. Small, 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 small like that. He is winning. And latest to have come from him is an interview that he granted and Dusty on Hits FM, where he said, Ochami Kwame Die, Ghana's numero uno when it comes to rap. That is what Portfolio is saying on Deputy Artist of the Year. I know that's how they call him. Mm. He thinks that Ochami Kwame, mm, everything shows that he is the guy and nobody should even doubt it there is a video that i would want you to watch after that i come back and ask that this particular rating that we do in ghana especially in our industry i think recently it was a gtv yeah. or which which platform did uh, them daily graphic daily graphic, daily graphic. thank you it was daily graphic when they did yeah, their, their own um good mm -hmm. when it comes to rap music and some people were even mad that their favorites did not function in there they did not come in there now this very statement from um a portfolio you yeah, understand uh kumasi connect nazi but the reality in there what he's saying do we agree do we disagree what is the contribution to that particular topic we will go first catch a glimpse of the interview on hits fm and when i come back we will go we will come back to the studio to discuss it should we end the argument on what um, um, um portfolio is saying or no there is a bigger argument we need to do when it comes to who is the g-o-a-t rap in ghana watch it i'll be right back there is a man who in in hip life history and ghana music Awards history has won every type of plug we have seen in Ghana music history, he has won everything, explored every type of, I mean, rap genre in this switches and revolution to the extent that even when drill was was that thing, man has been able to do drill and now won award for a Gen Z oriented, um, I mean, I mean, I mean, production. I mean, I mean, come on, he's done it all. So sometimes when I see some list, I'm like, see, I'm, but then I am tempted to believe that this whole thing, um, this whole. Kumasi Kumasi thing was maybe affecting him because I remember I engaged him on a chat and he said he was conscious about changing the narrative that um, when porters are reporting about him, they, they will write Kumasi based rapper. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so that was Portfolio, aka Deputy Artist of the Year, former SF member, now Bim Nation member. And um, I know he supports everything Kumasi. So if it is from Ashanti region Kumasi, as you know, he'll put his neck down for it. For it. On the bear, boys, yeah, boys, yeah, cool. That's the I'll come coach your master. On the bear, boys, yeah, cool. Or did it ever be a tremor? Now, despite everything. What do we think about what he's saying? Chemo is also from Kumasi. So, uh, <laughs> Chemo will start this one. Correct. Yeah. I mean, I, asked, I think in, in his submission, he said that it's subjective or something. I think I heard him saying that when he hears or sees others giving a list without Chame Kwame or putting him somewhere else, he wonder what is uh, going on. Or how, why are they coming out? coming up with a list like that without mm -hmm. Ochambe Kwame being on top. Mm -hmm. I mean, obviously, as you said, he is trying to champion uh, Kumasi agenda. Fact. He is trying to push the narrative for Kumasi rappers or Kumasi mm -hmm. entertainers mm -hmm. to look good. So mm -hmm. you, you can't blame him for that. I mm -hmm. mean, he is doing his work, mm -hmm. if I should put it that way. Whether it is true or not, for me, I disagree. 
Okay. Just that I'll also mention another rapper from Kumasi, mm -hmm. and it will still look like maybe the Kumasi agenda is what we are pushing. <laughs> I would rather mention Lord Kenya than to mention Ochame Kwabi, mm -hmm. because he was talking about not just rap, but the rap culture, the the influence, and mm -hmm. all those things, mm -hmm. and those elements. You can also get it in a, a person like Lord Kenya. Mm -hmm. So that's where I I will. Uh, differ from where he is uh, putting his thing. And again, mm -hmm. it is all subjective. Okay. So we, it is a matter of people putting out what they think you should consider if you mm -hmm. are ranking them or if you are trying to point out who is the best or he's the, who is the biggest artist at, at, at that uh, 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 instant. Mm -hmm. So for me, it is subjective and he, we cannot really blame him for uh, choosing uh, Ochame Kwame. Okay. Where I will strongly disagree is when he said that it's because of the reference Kumasi based uh, uh, artist or Kumasi based rapper. rapper yeah. That's why sometimes when they are uh, ranking them, they will put them not on top, but mm. somewhere it else. It will slow their ranking. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I, I disagree with that. And, and it changes nothing. If they will consider all factors except uh, referencing them as commercial based rapper, it, it won't change anything. I mean, we know that there are rappers in Kumasi who, who have uh, made their mark, who have done so much to, to be mentioned. I mean, Ochame Kwame, no one will make a list and take him out. At least for now, we have seen it all the list. Maybe he will not be on top. Yeah. His issue is. He might that, not be number one. Yes. He might not be number one, but he will be part of the list. Okay. And I think when you are considered at any point in time uh, as part of the list, it mm. means you have done mm. something mm. great that mm. we can all agree to that mm. one. Mm. By just uh, making it so, uh, sounding like he should, he should be number one no matter what. That's where me, I have issue with him. But yeah, pushing the Kumasi agenda is, is, is okay. So he should just go on. But I disagree with him that the referencing of commercial based rapper will slow them down. And no. is the reason they are not, not topping no, some of these charts? No. They are always in the in the in the list. Or the, the people always mention them. And I think it's enough when you are considering something subjective like uh, ranking artists mm -hmm. or ranking mm -hmm. rappers. Mm -hmm. we, if we give it to let's say 20, 30 people. Uh, I, it will be hard for us to get one person topping all the uh, the people who are judging. Yeah. You will get different different people putting them uh, on top and all those things. So for me, I think he he is just pushing the Kumasi agenda. And yes, good luck to him. But I, I disagree. Me, I would rather choose Lord Kenya than to go for Ochame Kwame. Not to say that Ochame Kwame hasn't done anything, but I, for in my opinion. Lord Kenya made a huge impact. Marvelously well. Yes. When you are considering rappers in Ghana. Well, um, still on the Kumasi agenda, portfolio is trying to shift narrative with what he's saying. That because you guys have been saying um, Kumasi based, Kumasi based, that's why some people from that side of the world are not on top of our ratings and our charts. I don't know what Roland also thinks, but someone should check his phone. Some, right, uh, okay, thinking, yeah. cool. Yes, um, take over. Um, so, I mean, who's about for your argument? And they are using subjective materials. No more high, high, no more near. Yeah, mm -hmm. You see, um, putting somebody on top of a list and using subjective elements, well, it is part of some of the things we use in making arguments. Mm -hmm. But in most cases, Ayana, I would prefer personally say, and can be used to elements that are constant in terms of things that nobody can buy. Even if somebody has a subjective opinion to those facts, it will not matter. Yeah, things like the numbers, the streams, mm -hmm. the level of impact that comes with proper data. Mm. These things, no matter obi how big Chemo was, and to she say make say some flex were five thousand like followers. Any 
What do I know? We need behind him because you you know how big Chemo is cry. And it will not still make sense to the 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 fact that I'm putting on the table. So me, Ochamu Kwame has done very well. In fact, if we are to bring ten people, Kras will be on the list in part. There is no way. Even if Kras is in top ten, there is no way Ochamu Kwame be missing out in those lists. Mm, yeah. Even if he misses out about majority of lists, never be appointed. His name will be in there. Mm. And if you you be away Juma and people make such list and your name appears even in four, five, then it means that your impact is, is huge. Yes. Mm. You have been recognized exactly. hugely. On that score, I will agree with portfolio. Say so, Ochiame Kwame has done immensely well. Like huge for, for us to say that if anytime we will talk about rap, we cannot talk about rap without mentioning Ochiame Kwame. He's done well. He's contributed so much. Mm. But you see the level at which he wants to put him and the element he is using. Mm. He's not saying anything. Mm. Wanga heo. Wanga. Oh, Wanga. Mm. You see? Oh, Achame Kwame's impact, even in for the past three generations, his 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 predecessors, his generation, and even the new generation. Wanga he. Oh, what? No, yeah. No, no. Oh, can yes, Wanga he. I don't know. I don't know. Person, sir, can one. Sir, for the past three generations, man has been of on his course. grind. Of yes. course. When you buy Maradona, my boy, and now you buy Messi, abo. You understand? But in terms of, there are certain facts that you use in measuring that Maradona will not come close to Messi. It is there. How many World Cups, no J? How many in terms of goal king, no J? Trophies or jail. All these things are facts, are elements that, yes, we all know how great Maradona was. Mm. But say, because you use our parameters, we are. Yes, you would have to excuse the legend. You understand? That is the kind of argument I want portfolio to bring. Okay, Ochame Kwame in his time, or even before his time, achieved A, B, C, D. And these are facts. These are like facts. Oh, in his time, he was able to sell, uh, sell 5 million cassettes, 2 million cassettes. Then we go and bring Sarkodie, which Ochame Kwame existed in Sarkodie's time. Mm -hmm. Then we will just, we will mark it with Sarkodie's streams and the kind of laurel Sarkodie also has. Then we can compare if indeed, per all these materials that are factual, that uh, nobody's in high high will, will come, can debate it. Can debate it. Then we can know who to put first. But if it is about, okay, like an imaginary kind of argument, oh, he, he did great more than his, some of his predecessors. Yes, we know. He did great in his time. We know. He is doing great even in the new generation. Yes, we know. But the time he was doing great even in his time, there were people who were also even as bigger than what he was doing. Mm. Bigger than what he was doing. You understand? And in that sense, what will be the argument? What will be the measuring tape right now? How, how are we going to measure that kind of, like, in, in terms of who is bigger? How are we going to measure it if you don't provide parameters? Mm. That is why when people would want to release the top 10 charts, some institutions would want to bring the parameters by which they are using to measure some of these clear impact. details. Clear details. But here, we always want to make an argument of certain arguments that we should put this person on first, put this person on first. But if you want to ask them, what are your parameters? What are their merits? Ube one sending now your imaginary. Ube one sending now your things that we are imagining. Yes, it is good for us to champion certain agenda, certain cause, just to throw light on certain things that so many have done. Like I said, throwing light on somebody like Ochiame Kwame. He is already a torch. Mm. Oh, so like Tony, so he, he, he goes. But if you want to make him, oh, I saw any street lights. I don't know, maybe some say street light at the ball hall. <laughs> and I see the bar once. <laughs> you understand? <laughs> <laughs> that is when people now want to question why you want to position that particular light. Mm. Because we know, yes, as much as some people are big, there are people who are way bigger. And if they should bring their parameters and say, okay, in this time, Sir Kodier won A, B, C, D. He's won this, he's done this, he's achieved this, he's achieved that. Even in terms of ambassadorial deals, the things that he's been able to achieve, even through music, these are the things. Bring Ochami Kwame's own and less measure. Then you, you can clearly see that. And balance, Papa. 
You understand? So me, until he, he would bring some of these factual stuff, like data, correct data for us to measure who is bigger and why we should put Ochami Kwame on top. I would disagree with him largely. But not to say Ochami Kwame has not done much. No, 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 no. If you want to, Ochami Kwame has done, has done much. And some of the things that he's done are there for everybody to, to show. But that's why I'm referring to portfolio's argument. Okay. He should rather provide the parameters by which we should measure, or he is using to measure Ochami Kwame as the greatest of all time. Mm. Because it is too huge, mm. and you cannot make such a vague statement and back it up with imaginary facts or imaginary arguments. So, so, so when when um, portfolio said Kwame has transcended three generations mm. from his time to now, mm. winning awards even mm. now around the Gen Zs, mm. are they not fat enough? Because you are saying he doesn't have fat, he's not bringing uh, those ones not fat. Yes, enough? they are. They are, and they are just parts. It doesn't constitute the full, uh, how do we call it, parameters which we need to make this argument. It is just part. Because J.W. Ambule, who also is mentioned as one of the pioneers of rap, is still active. Mm -hmm. Even in Black Sheriff's era, where he's touring as well. And all these, all these things are elements to who a great rapper is. Okay. And you can't tell me J.W. Ambule has stopped rapping. Mm -hmm. Yes, he may not do the type of rap you want to hear, yeah. but he's still rapping. Okay. Which is why in every rap conversation we even mention men about the new Sakwa the Emu generation. No, I will mention J. Dubley Ambule. He is mm. still active. Mm. So if in that sense, J. Dubley Ambule has lived his generation, lived the Chiami Kwami's generation, and is still living Black Sheriff Mo generation. No? So if you are not bringing anything beyond some of these things, then let's not start this argument. It is big. Interesting times indeed. Uh, portfolio. I don't know how you still come forward to defend and to continue to position this conversation but i trust you <laughs> you come and watch and it's mm. definitely respond to this now so yesterday after showbiz daily when we talked about the fact that the presidential candidates who are meeting people in the arts and talking all promises with them and the impact never did we even know that we were going to be there but later it became obvious that we had to go there to go listen to what was happening and while i was there so many things happened our cameras were there and they've captured some one or two moments for you to know but one topical issue that came out of the meeting was questions from some of our celebrated artists who were there. In fact, Samini asked a question, Shatawale asked a question. And today I would want us to, okay, Samini was not a question, more or less, uh, like crazy suggestion kind of thing. Uh, what the man would say, recommendation mm -hmm. kind of thing. But Shata asked a specific question. And after Shata's question, when you go online, many are of the view that the vice president or the NPP presidential candidate did not answer the question. That's what many people say. They think that, no, the gentleman did not answer the question right. He was just beating about the bush and they can't tell whether it was because Shatter asked him to speak in Pidgin or he didn't really have anything in particular to say. When I come home, I know my people would also have their own thoughts, but because you might not have seen the video, let's go catch a glimpse of some of the things that happened there. And Shatawale's question, the responses, that social media people think that it was swept, a pop swerve as they call it. Watch it, I'll be back. So I want to know what you have for our fans out there. And that's a street. And your excellency, I'll plead, I'll please plead with you that you see, when you want to, you know, respond to what I'm saying for today, and there's people out there on the streets. Just say it in pigeon small for me. Maybe I'll just say it. The way thing you say. <laughs> the thing you say, me, where are the politics? The thing where they, they my heart know, you be the people, the people that are where they suffer for the country. It be way in my heart. Me, I be patron of Lepers Aid Ghana. Me, then Lepers, we they eat, we they drink, because I they want help Lepers in Ghana. Me, I be farm laborer before. 
by day worker. I be taxi driver before. I be cleaner before. Yeah. So I say I know how people they suffer before. So uh, when you see me, I be a patron also of Mother Teresa's soup kitchen, Christ the King Church, looking after street children. Me, them, Father Campbell, would they do that sort of work? So my heart, they, the street. Today, the street. The thing where they do all, say, half of it help the people. So one of the things where you they see, say, okay, you did free education come, you did help. Digitalization to the help plenty. Because where they your mobile phone top, you know nobody feel ask you bribe. You don't have to know anybody. You know me so. You go feel apply for anything. They will get them right on your mobile phone. So, so digital, it, 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 it help everybody. You know me so. And the, me, I come government as I be the thing where I go do where I go help everybody. <laughs> Anyways, let's continue from there. Um, Ro was there, so I don't know if Ro, you would want to take this to start with. Mm -hmm. as, as for the question there, yeah, I for one was a little surprised where Shatawali actually took his question from. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, this is a meeting that had to do with the creative arts and tourism. And his question did, was not only centered on something that would only benefit the people in the space, mm -hmm. but looks like it was a general cry not if you feel by, yeah. and it it gives me that um, how do we call it that ha form of happiness that okay, at least whatever he says on his live and some of the things that he advocates for, mm -hmm. these are things that, given the opportunity, he it is not only about the sector that he belongs to. Mm. But just like he will tell you, some of these politicians, when I meet them, I want to ask them this. He met one and he was able to throw that general question, which will not only benefit people in the sector, but the whole country. Unemployment in the country is one of the huge problems we have here. Mm -hmm. And if we have people like that, and so it is not only about them joining you on the streets to only demonstrate and shout, that means that they only think about you or they support the fact that you are crying, that you are hungry or you are unemployed. But okay. given the opportunity, will they be able to ask questions that will also come to benefit you? And mm. that is one thing I liked about his question. When he asked about uh, Baumier's vision or Dr. Baumier's vision to the people on the streets, we all know when it comes to digitalization, which Dr. Baumier is pushing, it is not so many people who are accustomed to some of these things. Therefore, there, there's the huge number of people that may miss, and most of them are the people that are on the streets. Mm -hmm. Are we that are on the street? And we can't say everybody that is on the streets and you be an enemy in terms of okay, you're a coordinator, now you're a computer style, and you could be an a bit to me. So, why are you so focused on the digital part? leaving the analog part for certain people that may also need it. The real work. Exactly. Because again, we will need some people for the manual jobs as well. Mm. And mm. Baumia obviously um, attempted to answer. Mm. For me, I also agree that he did not make justice really to the answer that he wanted to give. Oh, you also agree? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He attempted though. He attempted though, but as to whether... He provided the answer, like as in what some of us would want to hear. To me, it's, it's just about 40 over 100 for me. Mm. Yes. Mm. The fact that he was able to present himself as people that he can relate to. That is one thing that, okay, perhaps he understood where the question was coming from. But maybe at that moment, he didn't have an answer. Okay. But the best he could do for him, for you, is, is for you to realize that I know what you are talking about. I know what you are going through. In mm -hmm. fact, I can relate. Mm -hmm. Where he made references to how he also started. How he also started. Mm. So yes, that was an attempt. 
That was started how. Uh, how did he I said on the mate. So why by the day? by the day? in Ghana, Hana. Why taxi driver? Why taxi driver? That why by the day? Exactly. So so you see, <laughs> as to whether the answer was so satisfactory for us to say, okay, he said he would do A, B, C, D. Aside the digitalization, I'm going to do A, B, C, D, or put one, two, or three in place for these kind of people to also benefit. I don't think he did so much justice to it. Like I said, perhaps he didn't have, have an immediate answer for that. But the attempt of it making you understand that he understands where you are coming from, to me, is an attempt. And I am just hoping that in the coming days, if they've not thought about some of these things, these are some of the ways we can prick their minds for them. Because they are, yesterday, there were other suggestions that even came that he even had to admit that some of these things are things that me, myself, I have not thought of. Mm. Or I'm even mm. hearing them mm. today. And mm. I would want to put in my books because I was see, I was very alarmed and surprised when Dr. Baumia said that it was only yesterday that he learned that Gamro's license has expired for the past two years. You doubted? No, I didn't doubt. Okay. No, I didn't doubt. Me, I know that some once I, I've said this on countless occasions that sometimes the people don't put premium on us in the space. And it is not only their fault. Mm. We also share part of the blame. Mm. Because the people that do consultation for them, even when it comes to their manifesto and creative mm. you understand? This particular question that Shata posed has exposed a lot. Mm. Mm. Or it has exposed mm. a lot. Mm. And it is not only about our creative art industry. Into the attorney general, how the question was answered. What if we have such people, such brains like Shatter, who would want to go into details and say, okay, how about A, how about B, how about C? You understand? So me, um, if 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 I, I want to if I want to say somebody is lying, pa, I wouldn't want to say Dr. Baumia is lying. Because the mindset that he has about the space <laughs> is what so many of his colleagues also have. Okay. But I would want to shift the blame to the people who do consultation for them, even when they want to plan into a like come into our space mm. those people i believe are not pushing enough or pushing certain things that are supposed to be pushed but would want to dilly dally and say oh yanko yamu yanko for yanko mom bisa which is why they don't put that premium on us so me mm. the question there he attempted but um, he, did he did not answer like that all right so attempting and answering are two different things altogether you can attempt it but if you are not able to answer that is also a different thing. Now, let's listen to what Chemo will say before we run away from here. Chemo. Yeah. I think it was an interesting meeting. Okay. But as I said yesterday, I'll repeat it. It's just a political gimmick. Mm -hmm. I mean, they are just doing that. I mean, and, and like you did your intro, uh, some of the questions were more like praises mm -hmm. than to uh, ask Pro, questions. Yeah. Yes. And, and again... With the shatter, shatter's question, I think Dr. Mahmoud Baumia struggled with the uh, pigeon to even think of giving an answer to the main question. <laughs> he's thinking uh, what's on the pigeon, pigeon language. Yeah, he's thinking how to what's construct on how to language. language and all those <laughs> things. And I think uh, it will be part of the reason why he couldn't answer the question. And yeah, I will agree with those who will say that he, he couldn't answer the questions because the answers that he was giving were far, far, far away from the, the main question. Mm -hmm. I mean, mm -hmm. uh, being a supporter of the leprosy mm -hmm. and, and mm -hmm. feeding mm -hmm. and fe mm -hmm. feeding uh, people on the street and all that wasn't mm -hmm. the question. Mm -hmm. it, mm -hmm. it was far, far from that. And mm -hmm. for him to answer it in that way... Asabi, is that me to Asabi? Was, mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> He made a he made a mistake mm. to to answer the question. He could have played around there and yes, go back to to his his uh, uh, main thing. What will make him comfortable? He should have rather said that. Yeah, 
uh, I can do pigeon, but I'll prefer yeah. doing it in English mm, so that mm, I can mm. come out clearly like for people to, Yes, mm. I can come out clearly for people to get what I'm trying to put across. Mm. So I think he he failed on that. And again, he said certain things that I doubt him. He mm -hmm. said that he was a taxi driver at mm, a point. He, mm, he has done mm. other stuff that I, I doubt whether he, he did it. Because uh, if, if you consider his background, mm -hmm. uh, I, I'll be surprised if he went through those things. Mm. His father, Mumuni mm. Baumia, uh, a teacher, a lawyer, politician, and at the time was even a chief mm -hmm. before he died uh, mm. uh, from Mampugu, I think. And then Baumia, after Temale Senior High School, went abroad. Mm. He went to United Kingdom, UK, okay. did his, his, his uh, banking thing and got a, a diploma in banking, chartered uh, uh, banking uh, mm -hmm. qualified. Mm. So um, at what point was he the taxi driver? Maybe in UK. In UK, after going to uh, school or, or maybe before when he was... <laughs> like I mean, it's 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 ridiculous. Somehow not believable story, but let's give him the benefit of the doubt. Okay. As for the question, he didn't do justice to it, and and I will blame the the fact that he was attempting to answer it in pidgin. Mm. If he mm. was doing it in English, he would have found a way, his own way, to say something. That would be impressive, even if he can't even uh, fulfill it or he can't uh, uh, do it. He will still say something that people will say, oh, okay, there's a good answer. But for this one, he failed miserably. Woefully. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, we wish him well. And um, we also hope that um, whatever he did with the creative arts people, will give him the impact and the results that he's expecting. And again, we hear NDC will also be doing their own Meet the Creative Arts in Kumasi uh, somewhere next week. Yeah, we pray that however they are trying to convince us, they will be able to convince us indeed. And uh, thanks to the people who led this organization. Thanks to the superstars who came there. I saw Guru. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I saw Guru mm -hmm. in an all white. Mm -hmm. There now, mm -hmm. Guru is really turning to uh, the politicians' uh, uh, side. He, he is a politician. He is a politician. If you win uh, SRC president uh -huh. at any university, you've entered into you mainstream are politics. Politics. Uh, politician. I think I read the headline where he said, "Oh, anytime." Um, uh, is it anytime someone, a certain group of people win in yes, the Ligon it, 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 then it means MPP. MPP has, has a strong win. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I said, ah, wow. <laughs> Claire! Oh, yeah, yeah. He, at this point, he's a full-grown politician. Well, we wish him well as well. So this has been uh, the Thursday's edition of Showbiz Daily, and it has been great as usual. So I keep watching uh, Sammy Flex TV. We will see what will be happening uh, with Shatter's birthday, the settings and the set things we'll be sharing some content with you as well so don't forget to tune in uh, tomorrow to get an update and we'll sure be finishing you with some information my name is sammy flex i did this with roland amate from shark z shatter movement empire roland report which is on youtube and showbiz channel jake.com in team dodo solomon chemo is at the extreme end who is our online manager here at flex entertainment limited and also in Tindoso digital solutions to take care of your streaming promotions and monetization on all your digital platform for you. Let me also say thanks to the producers of the show, Theo Flores, the Gods, and Buju Lens. Subscribe to us. Let's read from you. And do you also think Baumia swept the question? Until then, is it possible? Inshallah, we'll be very fine. <laughs> <laughs>